I made a community post asking what updates you think Bloxburg should add and I got a lot of good replies. So today I am going to go over 10 updates that Bloxburg players want. This style of content is different from my normal videos, so if you do enjoy it, make sure to subscribe. The first update is the ability to connect your plot to the street. This would be its own section in build mode, kind of like the wall section and the basement section. You place it on the sidewalk and it creates a gap. This gap can be resized using the scale tool and you can also change the color and texture of it. Adding this will make the plot feel like they're supposed to be there. The second update is fueling your car with gas pumps. The animation to hold the gas nozzle is already in the game, so all we need is an interact button on vehicles to fill them up. Depending on the vehicle, it could take anywhere from $25 to $100 for a full tank of gas. It could also make the gas can decoration useful. You could fill it up with gas and then use that fuel on lawn mowers or really anything on your plot. The third update would be adding more advantages to the premium game pass. An example could be raising the donation limit to at least over a hundred thousand. Expectations on Bloxburg are a lot higher nowadays, which means builds are expensive. And increasing the limit would help even out the game economy, if that makes any sense. Another really cool idea would be premium plots. This is a pretty bad example, but there would be a road that branches off of the highway and it leads to three to four plots looking over the town. The map would probably have to be expanded a bit for the plots to fit, but it would definitely be worth it. Adding more advantages would give people a reason to buy premium, which means happier players and richer developers. So it's a win-win. Update number four is a school. Everyone wants a school. It's been like two years. Uh, there's still no school. This is a scene from one of my older videos, but I think it turned out pretty well. I did not create this school. It's actually a free model, but it shows you that you can very easily fit a school in the current Bloxburg map. It's in a good central location, it's easy to access, and it's not by a nightclub. A cool feature would be a pop-up on your screen telling you it's time to go to school. This would be sent to teens and kids and would look like the work pop-up. You could also add schoolwork or homework or maybe even a teacher job. The fifth update would be a house market. This image was created by Welcome to Bloxburg News on Twitter, so credit to them. But it shows that you could buy assets for your house, such as furniture or decorations. Premium players will be able to list their items on the market and maybe even earn a percentage of money from each sale. Update number six would be more NPCs walking around the map. They could do simple things such as sitting around on benches, riding the ferris wheel, or just exploring the town. They could also do things such as buying food from the supermarket, working, or exercising at the gym. Something like this would make the town feel a lot more alive, and I don't think it would affect performance much considering there is like 30 NPCs at Pizza Planet, and we're doing just fine. Update 7 would be renovating the old buildings. So far, the new Bloxburg developers have done this twice, to the gym and the observatory, so thank you, we appreciate it. One building that needs to be changed is Mike's Motors. It could use a whole revamp or at the bare minimum, make it where the displayed vehicles change every now and then. The furniture store could be revamped into a building dedicated to the house market, so you would have to go there to buy assets. Something like that would definitely get people off of their plots. Update eight would be new jobs. The easiest job that could be added right now is a gas station cashier. If you go up to the highway gas station, the cash register looks very similar to the BFF supermarket register. The job would be almost identical to the supermarket cashier, but at least it's an extra job. Like I said earlier, another job could be a teacher, although I'm not really sure how that would be added to the game. I can't think of any more jobs, so go down and comment which jobs you think would be good for Bloxburg. Since we're talking about jobs, update 9 would be to improve the job earnings. Make the jobs pay more, please. If not, just make the other jobs pay as much as pizza delivery. This would give people a reason to switch up their jobs and try something different. And the final update would be to make the map more interactive. This could be achieved in many different ways, so let's go over them. One thing you could do is communicate to NPCs. It would be just like talking to Bloxburg Tom when you first got the game. Playgrounds or public swimming pools could fit well up by the premium plots. Built-in weekly challenges might be a good idea because it gives the players a reason to keep coming back and maybe they can earn some Blox bucks or money. And I think the biggest change would be communicating to the community using the game instead of Twitter or any social media. There's a lot of Bloxburg players that have Twitter, but there's just as many people who don't. So using the game would be a lot more inclusive. The city hall would be a perfect place to implement something like this. You could put voting polls for updates or maybe suggestion boxes where players can type out their ideas. It'll just make the community feel like they have a bigger say in future updates. And that is 10 updates that Bloxburg players want. If there's any ideas that I did not mention in the video, make sure to leave them in the comments. I want to thank everyone so much for 46,000 subscribers. To think that I almost doubled subscribers in a month is just mind-blowing. So once again, thank you.
thank you. I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you all very soon for a future video.